Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Red Bull coming at you with a power through the power of the wonderful internet. So this video is just going to be a lot of things at once. This video is addressed to the CEO of Target, Brian C. Cornell. You, sir, are a disgrace. You are a disgrace to Target, to me, to everybody in Canada. You're an idiot. Because you decide to, hmm, this goes through your head. We fucked up. We'll fire the other guy. We'll put me in charge. What did you do? You prolonged the problem. You didn't fix it. Now, you guys, you and your stupid little fat cats in the office and wherever your head office is, probably in Texas, you know, whatever, sit there thinking, ah, screw it. It won't just cause Canadians to, to lose their jobs because we close all our stores because you lost a billion dollars, two billion. Good. You lost two billion dollars because of your stupidity, Brian. Brian. You lost two billion because of your stupidity. Think. If you're going to come into a market like Canada, you open up a couple of stores, three stores, tops, maybe two. And certain spots. You run it for two, three years, you make money, you open up more stores. But you guys decided to come in like, you know, like a congregation going into a church, you know, whoosh, you know, or uh, sharks in bloody water, you know, you come into Canada, let's start popping up a hundred stores, you know, fine, give Canadians employment, okay. Year goes by, you guys fire whoever, some idiot before you, Brian. You fucked up. To this day, the shelves are still bare in your stores because you're an idiot. It's called supply and demand, dumbass. If you opened up more distribution centers, Brian, then maybe you can stay in Canada. But your motto is, I don't care. I'm just going to call every target in, the, in Canada and say, yeah, sorry guys, you lost your jobs. We're paying you retroactive salary for, I think it's 14 days or something. Are you kidding me, Brian? Brian C. Cornell is the CEO of Target. Well, Brian C. Cornell, if you're watching this video, which you probably won't, I address this video to you. Do you realize how stupid you are, sir? How stupid you are. You had a multi-billion dollar idea bring Target and Canada, which was good in the beginning. But you, you, sir, you, Brian, fucked up. You fucked up. Royally. You guys didn't have enough stock, didn't have anything. To this day, the shelves are still barren. And what do you do? Here's your pink slip. You have 14 days left of employment. Are you kidding me, Brian? You got single mothers working there, fathers, family men, families working there. And and you're just going to go in there and be like, yeah, sorry, we're closing all our stores. Who knows when? 14 days from now, 3 days, 2 days, 5 days from now? I really don't care. Are you kidding me? Because of the mistakes that you made, Brian C. Cornwall, you're making Canadians suffer? Are you kidding me, buddy? Are you kidding me? I am so sorry. I'm really... <laughs> When I walked into when I walked into Target, Brian, I saw professional customer service. I saw shelves full. A year and a half, they're still bearing moron. Dear, you know what, Brian C. Cornwall? I hope you rot in hell, you stupid son of a bitch. You're costing Canadians that worked hard for your company to keep your stores afloat in Canada. You're giving them 14 days retroactive salary? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I would sue your ass royally. I would take you for fucking 20, 30 days retroactive salary. You're causing a lot of people that work for your company to bring in the customers. You're giving them a pink slip, and you know the Canadian economy's in the toilet. Well, speak of the devil, buddy. It's the same thing across the border, buddy. You been in the Bronx lately there, Brian C. Cornwell? I have a vengeance with you, buddy. I dare you to wait in line at 6 o'clock in the fucking morning at the food bank in B.C. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm sorry, you're the CEO of Target. You don't do that shit. 
As far as I'm damn concerned, I'm sticking up for your employees that have no jobs at the end of this year because you're an idiot. If you didn't launch a hundred stores in Canada and thought, hmm, supply and demand, Brian, that's basic business practice, supply and demand. If supply outfits demand, or if demand outfits supply, you screwed up. You couldn't even put distribution centers in all your Canadian locations. They expect to rely on one distribution center to do a hundred stores? Earth to Brian, you're an idiot. I... You know what, Brian C. Cornwell, if you, Cornel, whatever your name is, Brian, if you watch this video, I personally want you to message me and have an, if you want to talk to me over the phone, I'll be happy to talk to you, sir, because I think you're a damn disgrace. You screwed up in Canada. We didn't. You did. Your false promises, your false BS advertising. Your so-called, oh, we're bringing products that are available in the U.S. and to Canada. Did any of these Canadians see it? No. You caused a thousand people in your stores to lose their jobs because of your stupidity. You lost one billion dollars because you guys hired idiots to work for Target. You guys hired idiots to do your dirty work for you. Give me a break. <sighs> You know what? What makes Canadians stronger is we never back down. We never back down from anybody. We will stand up. We will fight. I wish you luck, Brian, in the near future, buddy. Brian C. Cornwall, Target Corporation CEO. Of course I'll find your name, buddy. Of course I will. I think you're a disgrace, Brian. You fucked up. You couldn't make your damn bed now lie in it. I wish you luck. I would love to go down to Target corporate headquarters and basically, you know what, walk into your office with 150,000 of your Target employees from Canada and tell you to go screw yourself. You're a piece of shit. I can tell, you know what, all your employees, because of your stupidity, because of your fat cat principles or whatever your little dumbass employees that you have in your corporate head office, You fucked up. You're a disgrace, Brian C. Cornwell, to the Target CEO, my ass. I could do your job a hell of a lot better. I would have kept Target in the black. But you decided to... <laughs> fail. You're a failure, Brian C. Cornwell. Target of CEO. I address this to all Target employees all across Western Canada and everywhere else. You guys, I am 110% behind you guys. I think you guys are being treated unfairly. I want to see you guys have equal rights. Equal rights, not 14 days retroactive salary. Screw you, Brian. I would have said 20 days retroactive salary. They deserve to be paid out for all the hours and days they bust their asses making you look good, Brian C. Cornwell. You're a disgrace. I wish you luck, Brian. Hopefully you'll fall off your high horse and you'll see. Do not fuck with Canadians. Never. We're hardworking people. And in the States. Not saying you guys, but you guys are hardworking people too in the States. I've seen it. Trust me. You know, there's people in the States suffering too, but you don't care, Brian. You care about the mighty dollar. You never got this. You failed. You're a failure, Brian. This goes to you. Sorry, guys, that's just one little rant I've had to express because I feel sorry for all the employees of Target now, getting their pink slips. Now, as we all know, the Canadian economy is in the toilet. Mex is now closing all Canadian retail stores. They're gone. Sony just announced that all their retail stores in Canada are closed. I personally went down to the Mex and talked to one of their employees. They filed Chapter 4 bankruptcy. If you got the liquidator coming in, not Jeff Schwartz from the liquidator the show on OLN, I wish, I'd like to meet him. <laughs> Putting stickers on everything, auctioning off store fixtures, everything, are you kidding me? 
This economy is, is in the toilet. You can't do this. Perfect example, CEO of Target. Brian C. Cornel, Corneal is a perfect example of a coward. It doesn't care. All he cares about is the almighty dollar. One day he will fall off his high horse. Sony has announced that they're closing all their stores. Same thing. Um, it's all online now. Like, I can go on BestBuy.ca, buy myself a Sony PS4, instead of going out of my house, and basically going to the Target store, picking up a camcorder. Another rumor I've heard through various things on the internet that, um, Basically, Sony is cutting their TVs now. There's no more TVs. Sony will stop making TVs, which is sad, but there's a lot of competition. You got LG, you got Samsung, you got Toshiba, you got RCA, you got everything going through the roof, man. You know, another sad fact that just came in today is that Tar... Um, Chapters is closing one of their Vancouver uh, locations coming by the end of the year. More people out of work. And this is all thanks to Brian C. Cornwall of Target. So, Brian, if you ever have any common sense or brains in your damn head, if you really want to talk to me, by all means, you can come and talk to me. I don't care. But just remember, you fucked up. I hope you sleep well at night. I hope you goddamn sleep on your $50 million mansion in Austin, Texas, or wherever the hell you're from. You're a disgrace. You could have stayed in Canada if you did, if you're too, you know, if you had any brains in your head and opened up a lot of distribution centers, and Canadians wouldn't be out of work. There's over half a million people from here to the States that are losing jobs every day because the economy's in the toilet. The bank comes a knocking, we own your house. That's never going to happen to you, Brian. I'm sorry. You're a pompous, overpaid CEO of Target. But I hope one day that you will see the side of hardworking people like me, my uncle, my father, my uncle's uncle, my, my crew. They work every day from 9 a.m. to 5 every day of their lives trying to survive. And you know what, Brian Cornwell of Target Incorporated, I have two words for you. Go to hell. Sorry, that's three words. Go to hell. I hope one day you lose your job and you'll see what it's like. Thanks, YouTube, for listening. Um, I appreciate it. I'm sorry for the language and everything. It's just this is what's happening, and I find it absolutely disgraceful what Target is doing to their employees and all their companies. I back their employees 110%. I have utmost respect for them. I have talked to them. They don't deserve this. They deserve a job. Just because the CEO of Target, Brian Cornwell, gets paid millions of dollars to fuck up. And he caused it all. He caused his company to go. So you know what, you guys, thank you very much for listening. There's more on the way. Um, I would have recorded off my tablet, but it's dead. So I'm recording off on webcam, guys. Thank you for listening. And please, by all means, please, I'm calling all Canadians, my subscribers, my subs, I already said that twice, but whatever. People who watch my videos, people that know me personally, that, you know, that know me or whatever, I urge you to email Brian C. Cornwall, CEO of Target. <sighs> yeah, see, it says even right here. Hold on, I'm going to read you this article from, this is from Forbes magazine. Forbes for business people. Very good people. Target's new CEO makes bold decision to leave Canada. This is, what, this is an article that was written in Forbes magazine. 
In a painful, brave move, Target announced Thursday that they'll be pulling out of Canada, having insequential billion losses since it acquired the Canadian chain Zellers in 2011. CEO Brian Cornwell, the new CEO of Target, chose to close 133 stores now in operation concentration on growing United States business. The first Target stores were opened in Canada in 2013. So clearly, Brian C. Cornell is an idiot. Believe me. The acquisition was badly handled from the beginning. First of all, the Zeller stores Target acquired often secondary locations, secondary Target stores were handled very badly. Prices on many items were higher than in the United States. The stores were often out of stock on wanted merchandise. Stores were not dis for many Canadian shoppers. Were not desired. Thank you, C new CEO Brian. Brian, you idiot. Search his name. You'll see it. It's it's a bold but sound decision to withdraw from Canada to focus on resources more promising revenues for future growth of Target. As quoted, Mr. Cornwall, Cornel, C. Cornel, who joined the company in August 2014, reviewed all Target operations, indicated late last year that one of the operations was close to Canadian stores. Cornel did not see any meaningful shift in sales momentum during the holidays in Canadian stores. Oh, I wonder why, dumbass, because you screwed up. You didn't stock the stores for the holiday season, you idiot. Do not see any meaningful shift during the holiday season. Indicate company do not see any way Target kind of profitable last 20 to 2021. Target will remain open in Canada during the wind down process. The company has applied for protection under Com Creditors Act, which has committed U.S. one $1,175 million in possession of credit. City Financial Canadian operations. So basically, Target is saying in layman's terms is that they're bankrupt, which is bullshit. Company is also seeking court approval to ensure fair treatment of employees. About 17,600 people are employed in Target Canada. The company will make a cash contribution to employees' trust. So near all Canadian based employees will receive minimum of 16 weeks compensation. Are you fucking kidding me? 16 weeks of compensation? That's fucking Canadian EI, you stupid motherfucking Brian, you idiot. 20 weeks they deserve. Target will report approximately $5.4 billion in pre-tax loss on discontinuing operations fourth quarter in 2014. Additional $275 million pre-tax loss discontinuing operations fiscal year of 2015. I think the move was wisely decision to lighten management views. There was net earnings, blah, 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 discontinuing operations, because fiscal, whatever. The company also announced that Contributing sales in the fourth quarter of 2014 increased by 3%, whatever. So basically, Mr. Basically, that was from Forbes magazine. Basically, what it's saying is the new dumbass CEO, Brian C. Cornell, you fucking asshole, decided to pull out, like I said, it's there that was on a Forbes article out some Forbes. So everybody, I don't care if you're my subscriber, you don't know me anything. I urge you guys to call Target, to call CEO Brian Cornell and leave him messages that he is a disgrace to Canada. He's a disgrace to Target, that he's screwing with hardworking Canadians. I want you to blow his email up, find his home phone number. I don't care. He doesn't deserve that position. I do. He's treating people unfair. And he's kicking innocent people out of jobs. Screw you, Brian C. Cornell, CEO of Target. Mr. Rebel says, fuck you. You're a disgrace.